Hello friends, it's Jones the Monster, and we just got back from Kelly's Comics and in Great Falls, my favorite comic book store in Montana, and look at what we got. We went up there for the free X-Men from the Ashes sampler. It has a great interview by Dr. E. L. E. Wing, uh, covering exceptional X-Men, my most anticipated title from the upcoming or the relaunch now that X-Men's out. With uh, some great preview pages by Carmen Carnero. Controversial about Kate not getting involved earlier, but I imagine it's just because they're going to use this as conflict with her in bronze. And, you know, you start your characters low to build them up. And then we even got some great um, preview art or character designs. By Miss Carnero. And the cast of Exceptional is going to be Kate, Emma, Bronze, Axel, and Melee. I know the internet's being taken by Bronze, but I'm sort of Team Melee, but I like to pick a team. Then Wolverine Deep Cut. I was surprised it had some Lockheed pages, which of course I'm a huge fan of. By Chris Claremont, Edgar Salazar, and color artist Carlos Lopez. And a bonus page in the back. Then Life of Wolverine 1, that started off as a digital comic. Which features the time Kitty Pryde was taken over by Ogun and Logan had to reset her. And this is written by Jim Zub, Ramon F. Box, and color artist Havel Tararia, and letter VCs Joe Sabino. And it even captures a Kokoan square that has Kate Pride and Lockheed, so that's the reason why I bought it. And then I believe this is this has to be Kate Pride, right? And since we don't go to Great Falls as much as I like, I got Two bonus issues. Currently my second favorite issue of the year. Uh, Magic Blood Hunt. Uh, number one. But the Peach Morico cover. Which I was going to get. Um, the regular cover as well. Which is amazing. But I really wanted to. I mean I love Magic. You know Shadow and Flame with Magic.com. But. You know, I'm mostly trying to keep the physical copies to just Lockheed appearances and to keep, you know, all this was like $20. So trying to keep it to a budget. Then I also got X-Men Volume 7 number one that just came out this week and I'll be reviewing on the podcast with this gorgeous magic cover. And since Kelly still had um, free comic book comics, I grabbed another copy of this. With the, for the Uncanny X-Men pages. With this great stealth Lockheed and Shogo Dragon reference. And then we stopped by GameStop later at the mall. And I finally got my Deadpool Pop Funko. The traditional Deadpool that I've been wanting. Because I never really wanted my one Deadpool to be like Pajamas Deadpool or Barbecuing Deadpool. Well, those are fun. But maybe now that I have a traditional one, I'll treat myself some fun ones. But apparently it was in the back, so I'm glad I asked about it. Sort of tempted to get the Wolverine one, but I also got plenty of Wolverines. But And then I saw a little teaser for the ones that are coming out closer to when the movie comes out. Um, it has some spoilers if they are movie connected, which I'm pretty sure they are because the Hot Topic had plenty of Deadpool um, shirts. But no Pop Funkos apparently. So not a pretty bad day. And look at all the stuff I was able to get. So once again, thank you to Kelly's Comics for being the best comic book store that I could ask for.